Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to go very basic step by step and we will learn about the new enhanced smart recorder from test project. We will see a demo and also discuss the features and capabilities. During this session, if you feel the speed of the video is too slow or too fast, you can always control the speed from the player settings. And with that, let's get started and let us learn about the new smart recorder from test project and for that I will go and log in into my test project account and here I have already logged in and let me go to any of the existing projects you can also create a new project if you want to and here um, I'll just create a new test and I will say this is a web test and say next and I will say this is new recorder demo and say next and here I have to select the application. So let me just select one of the existing applications. I'm going to the test project demo application and say next and here I will click on record and here you can see we have these options use a legacy recorder or start recording. So in case you want to use the old recorder, this is the option. But here we are going to use the new enhanced smart recorder. So I will click here start recording and this will open the application on the new browser and we will then get the recorder window. So here it has opened a new window of the Chrome browser and has gone to the application. This is the link of the application example.testproject.io forward slash web and here we have the recorder window and this is the new enhanced recorder from test project. So here for a moment, let me pause the recording and let me show you all the options we have and the tabs we have. So here we have these five tabs. We have test, steps, parameters, locators and explorer. If you go to test, it will show you the details of the test like the name of the test, the application and the description and then we have the advanced options here if I click on advanced options so here you can select or you can set the step pause if you want to pause uh, before or after every step and you can set the time here and this can be uh, handy if your application is too slow and you know about that or maybe if you are doing a uh, execution and you want it to be a little slower than normal then you can always use that then we have a default step timeout and here it is by default set to 1500 milliseconds that is 15 seconds but you can always change it from here so this is the default step timeout and this is the max timeout that you can set here in case there is any um, weight required for any action in that step however with the new features it will as soon as the action uh, happens or as soon as the link or the element is available and the action is successful, it will move to the next step. So it is the maximum default wait timeout that you can set from here, but it is not going to wait every time until this particular value. It will do the actions as soon as it finds the objects or the elements and move to the next step. Uh, then we have options to default step on failure behavior if you want to continue the test or fail the test if there is any step failure and then what you want to do uh, for the screenshot if you want to take a screenshot always or never or only on failure or only on success all this you can set from here and then we have the steps and here you will see all the steps that you record and we also have option to add the step manually or add from a test step or add test as a step and this will be handy so if i click on add test as a step you will see all the tests that are that are available in this project will be listed out here and you can always call a test as a step of this particular test so this will be very handy and then if you want to add a step manually you can select an action like if i want to use a type action i can say type and then i can filter and select an element and i can also add a step manually and then whatever you record will all be all the steps will be shown here then if i go to parameters here you can see the parameters of this test and if you want you can create a new parameters these are the test parameters and these are the project level parameters and if you want you can just click on new parameter and then give some name here 
let us say username and some description value is the you can give value here of this particular parameter in case this is a secret or a password you can make it secret so that it is not visible and then it can be input output or private so you can create a parameter like this and then for using the parameters in the test if i go back to steps you can see here it has used application url parameters which is defined here you can see application url so similarly you can create parameters and you can create parameter at a test level or at a project level as well and then coming to the locator tab so here you can find locators and then use them in your test for example i can say xpath and i will create some xpath let us say input and i will say evaluate and you can see it has found five matches on this page and you can also highlight like this so when i click on highlight it is highlighting that particular element on the screen and if i click on the particular element you can see it gives us all the details like xpath tag name id and all the properties so using this let's say i want this xpath i can copy from here and put this here and say evaluate now you can see it is saying one match found and then i can save the element if i want to if i click on save element i get all the locators so test projects smart recorder uh, not just captures one particular locator it captures all the possible locators and you can see it has captured some xpaths and css selector and then if you want you can save this locator or you can also save and create a test step from this particular element so this is very handy and very useful and then explorer this shows you shows you the entire tree of this particular application and page so this can also be handy so you can see the entire thing here and you can see what all uh, what is the hierarchy and dom everything from here so these are the uh, five tabs of the recorder and then uh, there are some very good features and capabilities so if i talk about the feature and capabilities you can handle the dynamic elements and let me show you a very quick example i will click on record and i will start recording and if you want you can minimize this recorder using this button here and it will be minimized here and if you want so it is here and if you want you can click again here and it will be maximized like this so here now i will start recording i will give some name here and the password is one two three four five and click on login and then it goes to this page uh, let me just stop here i will say pause and in fact i also don't need the scroll actions it has also recorded my scroll actions i will delete them and that's it so i just have a very simple five steps that is navigate to the application and then type username password and click on login button if i now run this let us see what happens so you see it goes to the application and it is it has executed all the steps now let's just say i go to this particular action or this particular step i will click here and here you can see all the details and here you can see the element if i go and click on this search button it will find on the page and here you can see it says one match found and if i click on this edit element here if you scroll down you can see all the locators and this is the primary locator so this is at the first position however in case this does not work it will try to find with other locators and then if any of these works it will tell you that what has worked and what has not worked and then you can uh, do the changes accordingly so let's let us say i will change this manually to uh, let us say name one and this is now incorrect it will not be able to find this particular element with the css selector i will say save element and i will go back to the test and i will run it again and let us see what happens this time so you can see it is still searching and if you see here now it is saying the expected element in step 3 is missing 
don't worry test projects ai is looking for another path forward so here you can see this message so test project is using another locators and yes now it has completed the test and here it says that test project ai has found a better way to locate your element and here it also tells us that this locator failed and test project has used another locator which is this one and you have the control to cancel or confirm this change i will say confirm and now if i go to this uh, recorder window you can see the steps that are passed are shown and highlighted as green however this step is highlighted in orange and there here it has used the ai to find the locator and you can see the message here also now if i go to this particular test and go to the element and go to the details you can now see the css selector that failed is now has now come to a second position and this is the first locator which is now being used to find the element and if i now run the test again you can now see it will be very fast because now it is using the new locator as mentioned and as suggested by the test projects ai and it is very fast and is now done also if you go to any of the steps you can see the advanced options where you can change failure behavior screenshot pause and adaptive weight and all this you can do from here so i will go back to my test and so this was one of the uh, main feature of the new test recorder with ai capabilities that in case you are having any elements that have the properties changed or in fact if you are having dynamic elements that change with every page load for example in salesforce application you will see every time you reload a page the locators or the properties of the elements changes in that case the new recorder and the ai feature can handle all these changes and i will show you in more detail in the coming session then if you have any hover menus where the menu only appears when you put your cursor over them even that this kind of a scenario can be handled by the new recorder so for example if i go to the test project website here is an example you can see if i hover over the platform link the menu appears and it appears only after i just put my cursor over the platform link and now if i have to select any of the menu items from here i can do that now this action of hovering over the this link can be very difficult to uh, control and manage and do in basic selenium but with the test projects enhanced recorder and the enhanced capabilities this can be taken care of very easily so you can do this this is one of the another main features and functionalities then if you are having frames or iframes in your application then again that can be handled easily for example if i just go to some of the some page which has frames let me go to selenium api page and here you can see there are three frames here and the way you can check is if you hover or if you just right click on any of the element and here you will see if i do a right click here you will see options like view frame source and reload frame so that means there this is a frame and the elements are inside a frame so in selenium if you try to click over this element directly it will not happen it will fail you will first have to switch to the frame and then do any action on the elements which are inside the frame and then to go to another frame or to uh, come out of the frame you again have to issue the command to uh, switch to the default view so unless you do that you will not be able to do the actions but this is now taken care of in the test projects enhanced recorder you do not have to manually switch to the frame or switch out of the frame you just have to record your actions and the switching of frames will be taken care by test project and then when we have intermittent pop-ups and unexpected pop-ups again this is a very difficult situation in automation testing when we have pop-ups and we do not exactly know when and where exactly it will come so in that case again you can handle with the test projects new enhanced recorder and there is a um, action called check uh, click if visible so if i just go and show you some links i will search for 
test projects new smart recorder and here you can see here is here are some links which will be very handy so here you can see this link shows the seven challenges that you can have with selenium and how the test projects smart recorder can handle this i will mention all these links in the description of this video so you can see dynamic elements iframes hover menus and pop-ups if i go to pop-up you can see here we have this option that you can use so you can see here you can use this option that is click if visible and this can handle the intermittent and dynamic pop-ups then we have waits and timeouts we have already seen that you can mention a timeout in your steps and also in your test case and this is the max timeout however as soon as the element is found and the action is done it will proceed to the next step so it will not wait until the max timeout but it is a smart wait and you can handle all the waits and timeouts with the new recorder then another difficult situation that comes in automation testing is browser variations a lot of time it happens that we record our test case and create our test steps on a particular browser and it works fine but as soon as we run it on a different browser or maybe sometimes a different version of the browser there are some changes in the properties or the locators of the elements and the tests starts to fail and this is again can be taken care with the ai capabilities of the new recorder and then if you want to test across tabs and windows again this will be very useful uh, with the new recorder so whenever you click on some uh, link and the new page opens in a new window or a new tab it is very difficult to maintain the context or also to uh, maintain the data or transfer the data but with the new recorder and the ai capabilities of test project now it can handle all this if you uh, if the new page opens in a new tab or even in, in a new window the context will be maintained the session will be maintained and even the test data can be transferred easily so these are the main features of the new recorder with ai capabilities now i will have a separate video to discuss on the um, the ai features that is the smart healing features whenever the, there is a change in the element properties or there are dynamic elements or if there is any backend change from the properties and how it can also handle the hover menus i will have a separate video on that and uh, these are the references where you can go and check all these features and all these challenges that we have with selenium and how the test projects new recorder handles all these challenges so this will be very handy for you you can check this and then here again we have the smart recorder ai powered self-healing technology where you can use the ai technology which can find the elements even if there are any changes and i will have a separate video on that and with that i believe this was very useful if you have any questions or any doubts you can let me know in the comment section and i will try to answer as soon as i can and i will meet you in the next session of test project thank you for watching